Next on our list is Tom Hoy. Now, Tom, by the way, was born way back in 1939. He started his hockey career when his oldest son, Tom, wanted to stay, skate with the Blues in 68 at Winterland. He said none of us knew how to skate, so we went to the pro shop, bought skates for both of us, and got Tom everything he needed to play hockey. After months of driving from South County to North County, he started to look for a rink closer to home, ended up uh, finding Afton, and sponsored teams at Afton from the very start, uh, ended up as a coach as well. Greg's uh, team, his son, after four years, won the house mini score championship, so they continued to go on with the game. He got his real start then with the Mid-States when he became president of the Oakville Club, the hockey club, and uh, was also the Mid-States representative for the team. And in 1978, he received a call from Bob McElroy to come to the office. He handed him a list and asked if he could do everything on the list. Tom Hoy said, I agreed. Uh, we had a great tournament at the Queenie Ice Rink. At the end, they shook my hand and said, congratulations, welcome, you are the new tournament director. We've all had that happen. But, uh, but he loved it. In the 1991, Eddie Olson, the great Eddie Olson, asked him to be a part of the NHL uh, St. Louis office officials, which uh, he did for the next five years. And uh, he became uh, crew supervisor, actually, for the uh, off-ice guys. Uh, that's when he had to actually give up his mid-state years. But uh, he had 32 years in hockey, uh, highlighted by the National Hockey League off-ice official. Uh, he served as the game timekeeper, the gold judge, got to yell at him, the statistician, the official score, and uh, he also became crew supervisor for the Roller Hockey International League of St. Louis. Remember the old St. Louis Vipers? And the point he was appointed the crew supervisor by the NHL for the St. Louis off-ice officials. By the way, uh, and another great friend of mine, a, co a college uh, uh, roommate in baseball, uh, Partner uh, Terry McKenna, his father, was one of those off-ice officials, and I know Terry's here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to hear from Andrew, who is uh, Tom Hoy's son. Andrew Hoy. Good afternoon. Um, you know, my dad would love to be here tonight, but instead he's in Florida. Um, he's undergoing treatment chemo for the next five weeks, so he would love to be here, and he's really honored to have Hockey Hall of Fame, accept him. Um, you know, as far as hockey, you know, I had no, no idea as far as all the stuff he did until I really read through it right on the uh, brochure. But, um, you know, my brother Tom and Greg, they really got him into it. He had no clue what he was doing until he got, you know, like he said, you know, Tom wanted to start playing hockey, so my dad started getting into it. Um, as far as everything else, that's just history after that. I know, you know, my dad tried to write up a speech for me, but he's really bad at it. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to go with it as far as people he wanted to thank. Um, Herman Kriegsauser, first of all, Jim Jost, Jr., Charlie Busenhart, Bob McElroy, Bill McKenna, Eddie Olson. I know as far as the NHL, everything he did, Eddie got him into it. Frank Ferrara, um, Lou Stuckman, Bill Murray, Ray Harrison, Jackie Haas, and uh, Terry McKenna and Liz Couples, they, uh, I know Liz was always there for me in the Mid-States. Um, I just kind of reaped the benefits. I just got to run around during the tournaments all the time. I loved it, but um, it's all he really has, but thank you. I don't know, Andrew. I don't know if I've been criticizing my dad's writing. He is going to get a tape of this event, you know. <laughs> So certainly in the next few days, you may not be speaking.